is a subject that we've been dancing around for quite too long. We've been sugarcoating it for quite mm -hmm. too long. Um, we as a nation, as preservationists, as, as educators, we uh, tend to focus on beautiful, nice, architecturally significant houses on the hill. And there's nothing wrong with that. They're beautiful places. And most of the time, there are beautiful people associated with those places. But uh, that's not always the case. And there's more to the story than just a big, iconic house. And a lot of times, when we as preservationists pour our resources, our time into places, we, we tend to leave our focus when it comes to antebellum buildings on the big house. But as was, for those of you who came to the opening, the groundbreaking ceremony today, you noticed that the focus was a little different. And we as a nation are getting better at telling the whole story. So I certainly uh, applaud uh, Mark Fulier. Uh, thank you, Matt Reeves, all the work that you do as an archaeologist and leading the team to do the archaeological work to prove that my ancestors had an existence also. Their stories are worth telling also. So, <clears throat> as a former employer of the National Trust for Historic Preservation, whose main objective is to save buildings, and as a Civil War reenactor, as you could uh, see by me wearing this <laughs> Civil War uniform, I um, got a way of making people take notice. And to put on the Civil War uniform and to go to places where Civil War battles were once fought, the battle that, that changed the, uh, the direction of this nation, that uh, had to wretch away from those slave holders, that institution. Um, putting on this uniform and getting the attention that it, that it gets and knowing and knowing that that is, uh, is, is a possible thing to do, I, uh, I kind of combine, combine those things that I do, you know, being a preservationist and being a, a, a Civil War reenactor. And those two things combined came out as the Slave Dwelling Project. So, five years ago today, that project was born. Uh, and five years ago today, I, uh, prior to that first day, I, I, I made my phone calls trying to uh, convince uh, those stewards of properties uh, uh, that uh, were uh, extant slave dwellings about my intent. And my intent was simple. Find these places, ask the stewards to spend a night in that place. Now, <clears throat> if you are the owner of one of those, uh, one of those places, if you were to get such a phone call, you're going